Live on the number one set, the joint TV show, number one new for real hip hop and R&B. We going wild international. You already know how we get down. For the very first time, I'm lucky here to have her finally on my show, and she's been watching us all the way from Brooklyn to Dakar, Senegal. You already know Tony Blackman for the first time on the joint TV show. What's up? What's up? What's up? I'm glad to doing? be here. Yeah. I'm very happy to be in Senegal. Yeah. Yeah. It's good to see you again. So yeah. last time I saw you was like what, six, seven years ago? Yeah, 2009. Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah. Okay, so how you feeling? I am feeling good. Yeah. Uh, today I recorded with Bidou Boubes. Yes. And um, we've been out at G Hip Hop every day in Gedriwai. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I have been working with 20 dope MCs. Great. So from Great. all over, from Gedriwai, from uh, Pekin, from... Um, Medina, great. It's, it's great, 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 great. So, um, to see the last time you was here until now, it's been like what, since 2009. Yeah. How do you see the evolution of Senegalese hip hop? Well, you know, it's, 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 it's awesome. I think, you know, Senegalese, the hip hop in Senegal, is, is, of course, reflects hip hop around the world. Yeah. And, uh, but one of the most beautiful things about the culture of Senegal is that the oral tradition, it's like its like a, a, one of my boys, he's like, look, he's like, you know, I didn't heard a lot of hip hop from around the world. Yeah. He's like, but the MCs from Senegal, it's like when they spit in Wallop, you don't even have to understand what they saying. You can it's feel like, the cause boom. they mean it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I was like, yeah. and I said, that's because of the tradition. Yeah, exactly. You know? Exactly. Exactly. Because um, um, when you analyze the situation, a lot of people complaining today that, you know, we used to have something yeah. back then, like more than 10 years ago, that we lost today. Because comparing right. to the other African countries like the Nigerian, mm -hmm. Ghana, and South African, even if what they're doing is not 100% hip hop, right. some people still complaining about it. But we still have our own culture. We're doing what we've been doing for the last 15, 20 years yeah. now. You know what I mean? The last time we had Positive Black Suicide celebrating 25 years of a career right, right, yeah. and you know what I mean a lot of people don't agree the like the profess the way their career is taking is taking right now you know um, comparing to the music they used to give to the people right how do you see that evolution comparing like it's like more mainstream right but I, but I think that you know um, music is it's a process if you put them in a box they're no longer artists they're yeah. just mere entertainers exactly and um, I think we have to create spaces for that and that's why it's also important that we have to reach back so as we mature as we evolve as we get older we have to make sure that we're mentoring mm -hmm. younger MCs to carry on the tradition sure. and to be able to be strong and to be good and to be um, confident enough to honor their own voices. True. There's certain elements of hip hop missing um, because of what's happening in the mainstream yeah. around the world. Yeah. What's coming out of New York City, what? the corporate offices, the buildings, there is, there's something missing, but guess exactly. what? what? The political climate, the crises that's happening in the world, mm -hmm. it's making, it's waking people up. There's a certain consciousness mm -hmm. that's being, being tapped and there's a, there's a heart I think the heart is what we kind of tuned out of because yeah. we got so concerned with having careers. Exactly. Exactly. So um, let's go back to New York hip hop because yeah, lately yeah. I've been um, checking this interview, um, that incident that happened between Mano and Trinidad Games. Right. Okay, where the, um, Mano was compl uh, complaining about what Trinidad said that New York is no longer on the map right, because right. they lost they um their position yeah. on, on on the hip hop map how do you feel about that because certain artists was um certain new york djs promoting more south music on new york radio right. in new york city how new york hip hoppers feel about that I, you, i'm not a fan of regionalism okay I'm tell you first i'm from california right many people think i'm from dc or new york I'm, yeah. I, and i'm from a small town in california all right so I can't participate in re regionalism. I don't. I think it's like tribalism. I yeah. don't think it serves us any purpose. Mm. And no one is going to stay on top forever. Never. I mean, KRS One. He says forever and ever. Yeah. But he's not talking about like <laughs> he, we. We got to be able to take turns. Exactly. And we got to be able to bow down and mm -hmm. allow. You know, I think the South brought uh, something special. 
something raw, something that was guttural. Mm -hmm. and, and, and the beauty, I, what if New York and the South, those styles just kind of blended and combined and mm -hmm. became something new? Mm -hmm. I think that's where we're going because of technology, exactly. because of the internet, yeah. because it's so easy to communicate. I mean, right now I could take my, my iPod and your phone and we could exchange music exactly. via Bluetooth. Real quick. That wasn't possible 10 years ago, no, just like that. No doubt. And so the whole game is changing and and there's a there's a new crop of young MCs in New York. Mm. You know, I, f I run Cypher still. Mm. I have regular Cyphers with MCs. I teach MC classes with uh, Carnegie Hall in, in, in Manhattan and in mm. the Bronx. There's a whole new crop of youngins. And they're going to grab this mic and they are, I'm telling you. Tear it down. They are, they're ready. And, yeah. I, and, and I also think it's important that the MCs that are getting older keep rapping. Yeah. You so, rap because you rap. You don't rap to be rich. You don't rap to sell records. You rap because you rap. The same way somebody plays golf. Exactly. Plays basketball. You rap. So okay. keep rapping. Okay, so I'm going to ask you this question because yes. uh, like a couple of weeks ago, I posted on my Facebook, like it's 2015 right now today. As a hip hop lover, a diehard fan of hip hop, is is it has it has it to be um, um, lyrical or making money? We all have to survive. We all have to sustain ourselves. True. And um, I think we live in an age where you can be independent enough to do both. Okay. And I'm, I don't believe, I don't believe there's ever justification to sell your soul. I, I, I'm, I don't prescribe to that. I'm not that kind of capitalist. Okay. So there are people who rationalize mm -hmm. selling their souls. There are people who make music they don't let their children listen to. Okay. I think that's I think that's anti God. You think like some artists will never let their children to listen to the music they doing by them by, by the, the, themselves. They said they've said it. There are artists who said that in public, entertainers. Oh, okay. Who their children don't listen to their music. Wow. I think that's hypocritical. Wow, that's crazy. That's a contradiction. That's crazy. That's crazy. Okay, so what about sticking to one of them, like making money or uh, uh, being lyrical? I, I, no, I mean. Would you advise a, a, a rapper today to, 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 to just stick to one of those two? I don't think you have to choose, YD. Why do you have to choose? I'm just asking. No, okay, there are MCs, there are artists who are so lyrical. Okay. And their content is so dense, right? Mm. The only people that are gonna wanna hear it are the people who think like that, right? All right. Those artists, I say, if they're in like my site for a workshop, I say those are, you gotta make a choice. Do you want to be understood and felt and by who? Once you choose who you want to hear stuff, how many people you want to reach, then that's the answer to your question. There are some artists who want to stay lyrical and guess what? They're going to manage the bowling alley. They're going to manage the cabal, planet cabal, mm -hmm. and they're going to rap on the side. That's their choice. But I think that we all, as artists, we have to choose consciously. Then there are some artists who are very lyrical and they're mad at the people making money. Okay. They're mad. Yeah. Why they get to make money with you know these I mean? simple crap. Like we can't da 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 raps. Yeah, yeah, because um, Lord Jamar be complaining about it lately because you know what <laughs> 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 he said. You know what I mean? Like, we came before them and then, you know, now they're going on tour, they you know, with the with beautiful women yeah, yeah. that drive your fancy cars and yeah, all that. Yeah. I mean, is it what it's about? You just don't have no answer to that because it's so many questions with no answer around the board right now. Because, like, for example, with, with um, these young teachers that you, uh, the young people that you're teaching right now and giving workshops to and whatever, how do you see, like, most of them five years from now? Well, I think that there's a range of different kinds of artists. I, I, I can say out of 20, I can see three that are stars. But they gotta choose mm. because there's a sacrifice that you make, True. right? And so there's certain sacrifices, let's say, to be quote successful. Mm. There's certain compromises I wasn't willing to make, right? Yeah. But there's certain things that I knew I needed and wanted to do in terms of my freedom. True. I want to work for myself. Mm -hmm. I wanted to be able to travel the world and come to Senegal whenever I wanted to be able sit to do it. And so, yeah. and sit down with YD. And sit down with YD. So I set my life up to do no that. No doubt. And, and the, what happens is we base our life plan on the industry. Mm -hmm. Or we base our life plan on copying what that person did. But you got to be true to your heart. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that 
we you, this is a way to make a plan. There's so many ways to skin a cat. Yeah, yeah. The, the, you know that phrase? Of course. There's so many ways. Of course. But you have to be strategic. And as an artist, this is something that a lot of artists don't want to do. You have to understand your business. We get confused. We think understanding our business means we're selling out and only focusing on money. Mm -hmm. No, it's like the same way if you fix shoes, someone repairs shoes or uh, repairs cars as an auto mechanic, mm -hmm. or you sell fruits. You know your business, of right? Of course. An artist has to know their business, and they have to not be afraid to ask for their money after the show. Of Yo, course, I just rocked the show. Give me my money. You know, they have to be able to. You have to be able to read contracts. No doubt, no doubt. Because like so many artists today are just, you know, me letting themselves uh, being guided by the industry, like the producer telling them what they want to hear, what they have to do. At, at, that, at that time, to me, they losing. They own personality. They losing right. their own grind. Right. They losing their own lane. Cause you know I me, mean? this is not what they came into the game for. And we all, and you know what? Too many of us artists, we think a manager is gonna like be like the save all, the everything. Exactly. I mean, you, you can manage yourself. But but you can have a, a person who assists you in handling the details. So there's a lot of work. So you split the work, but you don't give everything over to this person. And then you sit back and just write rhymes. Yeah. That's not how it works, and that's not how you succeed. And if you look at any successful artist, they've been involved in their career. They understand the daily as much workings as, possible. as much as possible. Exactly. As Otherwise, much as you possible. get played. No doubt. <laughs> and you get held back. And a manager can block you from blessings. The wrong manager can block you from blessings. And he can, you know, come come, come to your back like doing certain things that you yes. never find out until yep. maybe years, years after. Years later, believe me. And it's me. gonna be too late. Believe me, I found <laughs> out way after. Oh, that's crazy. On the Joint TV show, you already know the serious business with Tony Blackman all the way from New York City. You already know. So, what's up with Chain? Chen Low? Chen, Chen is in New York City. Chen has a production called The Sounds of 63. He produced, basically, he worked with an 18-piece orchestra. Great, And great. vocalists. And he had Blissy Ambassador mm -hmm. as a part of the show. And Abi Odun from The Last Poets. Great. And he produced, basically, a hip-hop orchestral uh, production that's focusing on black history. Like, it is phenomenal. Yo, Chen, you the truth, baby. <laughs> Keep doing what you're doing. <laughs> okay, it's, I it's see you phenomenal. when you get back here. <laughs> it's All right? phenomenal. Yeah. Hey, um, so um, with all, everything you're doing right now, how do you see yourself in this movement five to ten years from now? I, well, you know, what I'm excited about is that the work I started years ago, it's just now time. Okay. So I got a bunch of MCs, 19, 20, 21. Yo, T, when we gonna cipher? When we gonna cipher? When we gonna cipher? <clears throat> and so now I've been um, surrounding myself so that I'm learning more about technology so that we have digital ciphers. So in 2016, there's a foundation we're gonna be working with to do a global cipher in Great. Brooklyn. Great. We're shooting it, we're uh, broadcasting live to mm. 10 countries and 10 cities, it's 40 MCs. And then there's a master class intensive. Diamond D, you know, the producer. I know Diamond, Diamond D. D. And Commissioner Gordon. The ITC. Yes. Commissioner Gordon and Lee Stone, who mm. works with Farrell Monch. Great. And we're going to have them as master teachers to Great. work with the MCs for eight weeks. And then we have this huge event. So I'm like taking all my dream projects and they're all actually happening. Um, wow. I'm working with Harvard Hip Hop Archives at Harvard University. Amen. And then we're having a cypher series. We're launching a web series this Great. spring. Great. My book, Wisdom of the Cypher, is done. And Ooh. it just talks about the wisdom that one can get as an MC. So it's spiritual lessons from the mind of an MC. Mm -hmm. And so I'm, I'm just doing all of my work. I'm finishing things up. I just finished the recording of a hip hop meditation project. Great, great. So everything I do in my life, I'm packaging it, putting in a product form, but also creating a platform so that we can have a global lyrical movement. That has always been my intention. That has always been on my heart. And in the next two years, I actually see it happening. And guess what? In 2016, yeah. I'll be there with you. OK. I'll be, nah, I'll be all there right, with you right, for real. Right. Hey, listen, uh, congratulations and uh, wish you. you all the best. Thank you. Good thank luck. You. 
to your right, projects, right. dreams, whatever you you know me you intended to do yeah. in the next two three years, whatever until the end of your career. Yes. This is what it is. This is the Joint TV Show, Georgia. the number one hip hop TV show in yes. West Africa. You already know how we get there. Tell them, Tony, you've been the watching me from the yeah, show. man. That my book so, of Joint TV. <laughs> ah. YD. Yes, sir. What, my brother? No doubt, baby. No doubt. So, um, I'm gonna ask you one last question. What do you know? Uh, uh, what do you, What do you want everybody to know about Tony that they don't know about? Ah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. What I really want everyone to know is that um, I come back to Senegal because I, Senegal is my home on the continent of Africa. True. And I come back because there's a spiritual connection for me. Mm. And that hip hop for me is a sacred space. The freestyling is a spiritual practice. It wow. is a meditation. Mm -hmm. And so my connection to the music and the culture is um, one that's deep and profound. And it's important. And this is what I'm, when you see my head full of gray hair yeah. and I'm walking slow and you see my grandchildren with me, I'm going to still be rocking mics. Uh, wow. Uh, 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 that's what I'll be doing. Okay? Before? I can see that. Good. So uh, before we get out of here, um, the question that I'm asking everybody, and I really want you to be uh -huh. real serious about this. Okay. What is the most dangerous thing about this music industry in one word? The most dangerous thing about this music industry is compromising yourself. Selling your soul. That's more than one word. Compromise. I'm not a politician because I don't want to compromise. So, <laughs> stick it that way. On the Joint TV show, bien sûr, Tony Blackman, Deglungen Code, tout de suite on enchaîne, bien sûr, avec ce grand monsieur. C'est un professeur du hip-hop. Il fait beaucoup, beaucoup, beaucoup de choses. On a tout de suite parlé de lui avec Tony Blackman. Chen Lo, ici, en compagnie de More Cheddar. OK, le titre, c'est tout simplement BK. Aujourd'hui, on le fait tout simplement BK Style. Et juste après ça, on enchaîne, bien sûr, avec le dernier single de P. Diddy, qui est en train de faire beaucoup de bruit. Sorti exactement il y a un an, ici, en compagnie de French Montana et de Ricky Rose. Maybach is in the building. Le titre, c'est tout simplement Big homie. Et juste après ça, le nid d'être moi, what the fing, je m'en moi, Nigeria. Ice Prince, aka, ok, le titre c'est tout simplement N-Word, Remix. Nigeria is definitely taking over and we're doing it real big on the Joint TV show, the Conglomerate Paper Rock. We will wire with it, alright? Holla.